Graph, GRT, it's the Google of the altcoins. We're gonna dive into it today. My name is Paul Barron, this is TechPath. Welcome back to the show. Make sure and subscribe right here if you're on YouTube. We love to do these kinds of topics and breakdowns. These are kind of our market mover sessions, which we do from time to time where we'll compile a bunch of news stories and elements together along with some data and give you guys hopefully some ideas and some research projects that you can go back and look at maybe what you're going to do on a particular token or a particular project. So before we get into all that though, remember this is not financial advice. We always suggest that you do your own and hope that you do your own research. Make sure one of the biggest things I always recommend on doing your own research is finding multiple sources from various places, then compiling that data and then double checking the sources inside that media to make sure that you're following not the FUD, or even some of the hype of some of these tokens and some of these programs that are out there from day to day. So let's get into it today. I want to jump over to Coin Market Cap just quickly, just to see where we are. Currently at 1.5 trillion uh, in the uh, total market cap. A little bit of low on the volume, and of course, ETH is, or excuse me, uh, Bitcoin is holding a really good dominance position at 45.2, and holding 37 and 2300 respectively for the two big dogs. So. That's kind of where we are. I want to jump also over to trade the chain and look at graph sentiment. This is their seven day run currently. Market cap, small market cap, 825 million. As you can see here, uh, tweet volume, very low on this one. This is one of those that is a bit of a sleeper. Look at the trading action on this one over the past few days. I mean, you've got positive sentiment. Then we see a dip in the marketplace. Then we see a rise, another slight dip, even though pricing was continuing to move. Then another positive sentiment run, an intersection of both sentiment and pricing, which is always interesting because uh, you don't always see that as much. Uh, and then, of course, another rise right here, which is the lagging indicator of sentiment and then the drop. So you can kind of see this. This is definitely being traded for sure. And one of those things that I think a lot of people maybe not necessarily understand what it is. So I wanted to kind of break down one of the things that is happening with uh, the graph. And this is a good point, this story right here from the information, which really kind of boils it down into some very key things. Because you always want to know who the investors are. And in this particular case, it's Coinbase, Ventures, Compound VC, uh, CoinFund, DTC, Kilowatt, uh, Reciprocal venture, Ventures, SPC. They got a ton of really quality, high quality venture money coming into what Graph is trying to do. Remember what they are looking to do, and let me kind of just roll through it, but back to funds raised, 27.5 million, still very small. So this tells me they haven't released a lot of uh, the opportunity there for future tokens. So that's gonna be a big thing, but really what sets it apart, it's kind of been called the Google of blockchains by some in the decentralized finance enthusiast space. Basically, it's an index that organizes and provides blockchain data. So there's still going to be centralized services that do something similar. The graph is decentralized, according to basically their CEO, Yanev Tal, uh, which is the company is Edge and Node, the software company that basically created the protocol. Anyone can operate a node with the graphs network and build an open API subgraph, which is kind of interesting because this is basically a kind of an index protocol for search, if you think of it. Uh, Tal said it's different from uh, a siloed approach way that corporations store data. For example, many have their own professional information regulated uh, to LinkedIn and their personal data stored on Facebook. So that's kind of the variation that they're trying to pitch. Um, I think this is a good example of where they're going, but they're also making some very specific moves in the kind of protocols and projects that they're partnering with. And let me just jump to their website. So you can kind of see what they're doing. Audius, uh, and I've talked about Audius before, but basically it's uh, Spotify on blockchain. Uh, Dodo, Livepeer, Mstable, Opine, and then Pull Together. You can kind of see some of these you may not even have heard of before, but if you kind of flow down, this is one on, on one of their, um, blog post was building the web three subgraph by subgraph. This is a very interesting because they're really kind of putting together all these very interesting tool sets and working with them 
and moving into this. So this is what the Audius uh, founder and CEO uh, said. Audius was founded on the principle that no individual corporation should take control of artists' ability to distribute their content and make a living from it. Trust should be removed from the system where possible, moving to the graph's decentralized network, hence the graph program, uh, towards what goal, the goal for Audius, which is decentralizing the ability to rapidly and efficiently look up data in the network with no compromise on user experience. We're excited to take these steps forward with the graph and kind of continue on down the line here. So these are our projects that are very, um, I think focused in the sense of they have a very, uh, in some cases not simplistic, but very unified and very centralized, this is my mission. And, and I think that's where the graph comes in and GRT as an overall strategy from the protocol to kind of help some of these developers kind of move to that next level, like an audience for sure. I want to also look over here at what uh, Market Realist was saying about their market prediction, because they're saying this thing could maybe go to 10 bucks, which would be a huge move, but retail and institutional investor interest, uh, obviously dr driving in 2021, uh, has taken to cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin, Ethereum, et cetera. Lately, due to environmental concerns triggered by suspension of Bitcoin payments and Elon Musk, this is where it's kind of got into the, the case and the graph NGR could reach 10 bucks. What's the price prediction on this one? Mainly because of the way that they're approaching all of this, uh, kind of this decentralized search capability for what's going to happen in the blockchain space. So I think that's going to be interesting. Look at what they're doing right here. And I wanted to kind of pull from this acquisition that they did. So they've acquired uh, a company called Beyond the Moon uh, acquisition. And let me kind of run you through it. Basically, it was a share exchange on the agreement. Basically, it was a share exchange on the agreement between the company Beyond the Moon and shareholders uh, of Beyond the Moon. And the purchase price was six mil, uh, satisfied through an issuance of X number of units uh, consideration units, uh, basically, I think, in graph. Uh, so this is very interesting because this is basically going to be an altcoin, altcoin exchange that really is going to simplify uh, the most exciting opportunities in crypto launch pads. So remember, these are for young blockchain companies and tokens that are coming off, you know, coming out of the block, so to speak and coming into the marketplace. And that's usually where discovery and big opportunities can lie on many of these protocols that are being developed. So that's really kind of where they, um, they that was their big business, being, meaning beyond the moon. So the acquisition of that as a decentralized exchange is a big deal. So I definitely think it's one of those scenarios right now where Graph is really on the move. The question is, is a little bit erratic, they're still very young, the pricing is very low, and I don't necessarily see a ton of big projects moving here just yet, but I do see all of the early stage projects starting to utilize this protocol and some of the things that they're doing in terms, especially with Beyond the Moon's acquisition, this is gonna speed up what they have in, in store of being, being able to bring new projects to market. Let's over, go over and look at the token and uh, take a look at the sentiment uh, data over on trading view. This is just their sentiment. Of course, this is kind of the flow that everybody's seen, but I want you to note something here. Look at this volume right here. This volume is insane on such a small token that is trading under a buck. So we've got a sentiment run here, which is not tremendous at 40.99, but this was of course during a pretty heavy uh, correction for graph 39.61, low amp, and then kind of flat lines a little bit between May 21st all the way up here to around June 3rd. And that's when we had the next little bump. Uh, this little downward trend right here, sentiment actually rose up. So this is where we started to see accumulation. And this is where sentiment started to form. And boom, you've got a little bit of rise in AMP and then another little rise right here. So this occurs on the 13th of June. And we had a nice little move to almost 78 cents. And then now we've recorrected. So right here is the amplification at 45.06. Quite a, quite a nice jump from the 39.61 that you see right here, which was back in May. And this is where a lot of these altcoins are moving. So there is some instability in the altcoin space right now, as I'm sure all of you know this. You know, you've got everything from Cardano, who's had a nice little, had a nice little ride up. 
then a correction down. And that's kind of where we are right now. And, and there's a little bit of instability in the space for both Ethereum and for Bitcoin, which I think is creating the instability inside the altcoin markets, which is creating some of these things. So the question is, is this an entry point? If you look back on the whole picture here, and let's kind of run back all the way into February here on AMP. This is where it really started, or excuse me, AMP. Um, we did a video on AMP. Make sure and check that one out. It's, it's a good one. Um, but this is where uh, GRT really started to kind of pick up some steam. And of course, this was during the all-time high of almost everything. A little bit overinflated and then the rise and then the fall. And then of course, uh, here was uh, May and the hit we took. So if you look at the entry point right here of being in this phase of, you know, what could be around 60 to 70 cents, this seems to stabilize right here. If you look at the pattern, at least over the last few weeks, into the fact that we're not seeing, because this was quite a bit of an erratic pattern right here, kind of this head and shoulders approach on this particular one. I've looked at a lot of altcoins who have this similar pattern. And I think, again, this goes back to volume. And if you go back and look at the volume, obviously in the beginning, volume in its high. And then right here, so there's some dense volume that's occurring right here in this accumulation period of time. Let me kind of zoom in on that one so you can kind of see what we're talking about right there. This volume density starts to accumulate here. And then, of course, starts to give us a little bit of a rise, a recorrection, and then now a, another little bit of a rise. So it's definitely being traded. And it's one of those scenarios, I think, that if you're interested in kind of padding some altcoin projects into your portfolio, this might be a good one to go with because of its potential and also its current price position and where it's been, its track record, and also a little bit about the fact that this is one to watch, I think, when you look at everything that's happening in terms of investment, the people behind it, and also the protocol itself. Definitely one to keep an eye on. I'm not, not necessarily giving a prediction, but I think it is a good entry point on this particular altcoin if you're looking to, to start to build out your altcoin portfolio. All right, if you're listening in over on the podcast, make sure and subscribe. Hit a few stars to give us some ratings. And then if you're here on YouTube, the number one thing you can do here is, of course, come on, man, subscribe and share the video out to your friends and family and all your buddies. Uh, hopefully that helps us get to our next level, which is 100K. We are on the charge to 100,000 subs here on TechPath and the Paul Barron Network. I want to see you guys coming back for more. Let us know what you'd like. If you're interested more in crypto, you want more EV, maybe you'd like a little bit more on autonomy or AI, or is there a new sector of technology that you'd really like us to get, dive into? Maybe NFTs, gaming, things of that nature. From a strategic standpoint, obviously we cover a lot of stocks and traditional investing here that are related to technology. But make sure and send us a note, and that's just producer at revernetworks.com, or you can hit me up on Twitter at Paul Barron. We'll catch you next time right here on TechPath. Thank <laughs> you.